Uh, I know at Piedmont, we've really, really focused on creating that hospitality-infused built environment that creates unique collaboration spaces, whether it's for an individual, a small team, or the large group of the entire company. It's really trying to create that uh, sense of, of place and an opportunity to kind of, that you can't accomplish at home in the office. Joining me today is Brent Smith, President and CEO of Piedmont Office Realty Trust. Are there some things that Piedmont is doing particularly well today or that you're personally proud of? Uh, yeah, I think in today's office environment, really creating a differentiated product either around the, uh, the built environment itself or the level of service or both are critical in, in continuing to have increased leasing demand. Uh, I know at Piedmont, we've really, really focused on creating that hospitality-infused built environment that creates unique collaboration spaces, whether it's for an individual, a small team, or the large group of the entire company. It's really trying to create that uh, sense of, of place and an opportunity to kind of, that you can't accomplish at home in the office. And that's really been around culture, collaboration. On top of that, you know, we are really focused on providing a differentiated level of service. Our employees at the property management level have gone through Ritz-Carlton training. So from security and property management, really trying to elevate uh, the experience for the user. And then really taking that and trying to create that environment. I've been really proud how internally Piedmont has collaborated across asset management, property management, and construction, which we do all in-house to build these unique environments that's really trying to create that elevated office uh, offering. And as we continue to see the evolution in the sector, we continue to see that the bottom part of the market, let's call it the lower 10% of the office stock, is really where most of the vacancy sits. And creating these elevated environments are really where tenants are driving towards. Uh, and I've been very proud of the collaboration from the team in it's not like every platform and every company that deals in office right now is equipped and has the team to really reimagine the space and redevelop the space in a way that today's users are consuming. And I think that's something that at Piedmont has really created true platform value with. And what would you point to some of the key achievements of 2023? There are a number, I would say, across operations. I've been really proud of uh, the amount of leasing that we've accomplished for the year. We've uh, uh, almost approach 800,000 square feet of new leasing. That's above pre-pandemic levels uh, and frankly a record for us since 2016. So really proud to see that the leasing uh, and that built environment and level of service has translated into success. Also on the operations front, we're very proud of the fact that we won an international Toby Award or Building of the Year Award um, and recognizing our U.S. Bank Corp Center asset in Minneapolis as being that designated winner for the 500,000 square foot and larger category. Uh, to be recognized internationally is great, but it was also exciting to have that almost coincide with the namesake user, U.S. Bank, renewing for 450,000 square foot lease at the asset, which is our largest tenant in the portfolio and a great outcome for the team. I think also on the sustainability front, we've been very successful at continuing to push the envelope and our own desires to improve uh, energy consumption and savings, sorry, uh, improve energy consumption savings, as well as water and waste. Uh, and so that we've continued to increase lead exposure. Now 70% of our assets are lead rated. We are now a five-star GRESB rated company, which is the highest level, uh, as well as the fact that we are Energy Star Partner of the Year, now three years running from 2001 through 2023. So continuing to make strides on the sustainability front. I'd finally add, you know, we were very pleased to access the unsecured bond market in a very difficult environment, particularly for office companies, uh, raising about $400 million in proceeds this past summer, uh, which really, I think, speaks to the platform and the ability to at least have access to capital, which few of our peers do in this difficult and choppy market, uh, and is, I think, a testament to the balance sheet and the strength of the company from a financial perspective. And as you meet with investors, are there certain topics or questions that are coming up more frequently than others? And how do you respond to those? I, I think really right now in the office environment, uh, uh, investors are still trying to get a handle on what is the true demand for the sector. Uh, now, I know as for ourselves as the company, we've actually leased 40% of the portfolio since the pandemic, uh, which I think is a, an accomplishment that, again, speaks to the, the quality of the assets and the service we're providing. But I don't think it's still overcome investors' concern about the sector as a whole. And so as we continue to see, really, as I mentioned before, that 
obsolete product, that bottom 10% of the market where 50% of their vacancy resides, I've, we've got to get a, do a better job of getting investors over the hump of recognizing that that's not weighing on the best five to 10 buildings in a submarket. And that's where most of the REITs that are uh, office REITs own assets are in the high quality top 10 uh, assets. And we're continuing to see great success.